Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy for Some of God in Burlington, Kansas, coming to you from the prayer chapel at the district camp in Augusta. Continue on with our prayer devotions for this week. And we are literally talking about uh, 21 day fast, Daniel fast, giving up stuff. Daniel fast is talking about giving up the king's food, steak and caffeine and all that. Well, I want you to begin to think of something before we even start is, what is God calling you to give up that you may spend more time and develop a deeper relationship with Him? Think about it. Here's a devotion for today. 40 days of nothing, not hardly, even though Jesus fasted 40 days, He clearly came out stronger than ever based on the, on the events followed it. How is your fast strengthening you? Do you feel like you're you're floundering, maybe you're not experiencing the outcomes you expected. Ask God to lead you into the same kind of preparation, power, and purpose that Jesus gained from his time of fasting. Listen to this in Luke 4. It says this, as it comes up, Then Jesus returned from the Jordan full of the Holy Spirit, and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. For 40 days to be tempted by the devil, he ate nothing during those days. And when they were over, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you're, you are the Son of God, tell the stone to become bread. But Jesus answered him, It is written, must, Man must not live on bread alone. So he took him up and showed him the kingdoms of the world. In a moment of time, the devil said, I will give you, the, you their splendor and all the, their, this authority because it has been given over to me and I can give it to anyone I want. If you then will worship me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. So he took him to Jerusalem and had him stand in a pinnacle of the temple and said, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, he, he will give his angels order concerning you to protect you. And they will support you with their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered, it, it is said, do not test the Lord your God. After the devil finished every temptation, he departed from him for a time. Then Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the Spirit. And news about him spread throughout the entire vicinity. He was teaching in their synagogues, being acclaimed by everyone. He came to Nazareth where he, was, he had been brought up as usual. He entered the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. And unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom to the captives, recovering the sight of the, to the blind, to set the free of the press, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. He's, he then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down, and the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fixed on him. He began by saying to them, Today, as you listen, this scripture has been fulfilled. They were all speaking well of him and were amazed by the gracious word that he came from his mouth. Yet they said, Isn't this Joseph's son? Then he said to him, them, No doubt you, you will quote this proverb to me, Doctor, heal yourself. So, that, so all we've heard that took place in Capernaum do here in your hometown. He said also, I assure you no prophet is accepted in his hometown, but I say to you, there will certainly many widows in Israel in Elijah's days when the, the sky will shut up and three years and six months while a great famine came over all the land. Yet Elijah was not yet sent to any of them, but to a widow of Zarephath in Sidon. And in the, in the prophet Elijah's time, and there were, there were many in Israel who were in serious skin disease, and yet one of them was healed only Nanan in Syrian. And if you go ahead and read the rest of Luke 4, you're going to gain a lot of more uh, talk about this. And, I, and I, here's what I believe is, as I'm taping from this, this, this building called the prayer chapel at the camp, uh, I just want to let you know that it's awesome to get away and get in the presence of God. 
And, and this is a practice that I've been doing for quite some time, that every year during the week of prayer at my church, uh, I, I'm blessed to get away for a couple days, and God has always given me a place to go that where I can uh, inter have that closeness, that deepness with the Lord as I get away and pray and, and fast. And God always shows up. So let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single person. I pray that you give them a great day, encourage their hearts. And Lord God, give them the opportunity to share the gospel with somebody today in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.